We are Team Reactivity and I'm sorry, Team Sparks. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost had a problem there. We're Team Sparks, presenting Reactivity. And uh, we, uh, we hail from Rochester Institute of Technology in Rochester, New York. I'm Adam Reese. I'm with the computer engineering guys. Um, I'm Zach Shivers. Um, I did el the electrical, en or I'm electrical engineering. I did uh, some of the hardware. Uh, I'm Joe. Um, I'm a computer science. <laughs> he doesn't claim a lot, but he did a lot of the programming. So, um, so first thing we're going to cover is really what our, our design tries to address. And we found through extensive research that one of the largest polluters and one of the things that had the largest impact on the environment was energy waste. And that was leaving products on that could have been turned off, things like walking out of a room, leaving lights on, leaving computers running. And then it even gets to be more expensive things, things that use a lot more power and produce more pollution. And um, so that was, that was a very large scale polluter. And it was also not avoidable. There is no way. Um, to train everybody in one fell swoop to turn off all their lights appropriately or to turn off large machines at the appropriate times. Reactivity has a lot of really key features that you have to look at for any sort of distributed control. Uh, the first thing we really looked into was scalability. Uh, we wanted this system to be able to be implemented on a city level, a business level, a home level, or even just one node in you know, someone's garage. So it had to be very, very scalable. The first level of scalability was home automation, which there are many products that cover. And we're going to go into that in just a couple minutes. The second level was uh, corporate resource management. And that made it more interesting because we had to have a larger addressing space. And then we were actually able to achieve uh, city level, which was the ability to have more than 100,000 nodes on a given network. The the largest feature that we found to set our product out from other products that existed in business and home automation was the ability for our system to handle feedback. Every product on the market that does automation right now does only systems where you can give control. So you can dim your lights and close your drapes and do all types of wonderful things, but none of these systems actually let the, the node itself talk back to you and tell you the state of wherever it was. And we're going to be able to demonstrate, as you can see on our poster, uh, we have a, a node working with light, temperature, and humidity. And so we'll be able to demonstrate some of that for you. Our business plan was really focused around uh, how we could compare up to our competitors because our competitors were definitely in the market and definitely had the lead in terms of having their product out there. The first competitor was HomeSeer, and they're a consumer available uh, control system that does not offer feedback. And they did things that were limited to house uh, scalability. Cestron was the second system, and they handled more business products, and they did everything from fountain control to light control uh, and a lot of AC control, but again, didn't offer any feedback. And we have reactivity to compare to those two. We are still in our development stage, but we do offer both control and feedback. Five months from now, we're looking at having our first market-ready device. Uh, currently, we're operating with a prototype and our first market-ready software. We are going to be adding client architectures, cell phones, handhelds, and uh, other computing devices. Suppose I was a CTO of a large business that was looking at hardware or software that could handle energy minimization for the whole company. The uh, the first thing I would look at personally where I CTO would be different systems that let me try to observe the amount of energy being used by different people in my company. None of those really exist. I was able to use reactivity once I found it to be on the network uh, wireless so there was minimal cost, minimal setup and observe from one location the energy use of everything that was being fed through a node, which can be any AC or DC device. And just to, to show you a little bit about the board, I'm going to move over here and just talk about the AC control board along with our sensors here. What we have set up is we have our demonstration node here. And you can see, actually, I moved my hand with the light sensor. And it's going to turn off our lamp for us just to show you that it is a fully functioning prototype. Uh, we have a humidity sensor, which it turns out LA is actually quite humid. Uh, we built this in Rochester, so that's interesting data on that. 
And we show our wireless communication. This is our wireless node. We're using Zigbee Wireless. It operates up to 300 meters for their Zigbee Pro module. And then after that, it's very inexpensive to build a small repeating device. And they can actually act as repeaters themselves. Well, in my point of view, because I'm a uh, computer science and I'm pretty familiar with C-sharp, uh, the beauty of this uh, reactivity is actually the code behind it. So we had uh, a very simple architecture, just a uh, client, server, and uh, nodes. We can actually allow the user to program their own API to do whatever they want, actually. Another of the large benefits of rule chains is that it actually allows uh, any individual, if it's a remote person doing servicing or a technical individual that works for the company, to take a node that has been serving, for example, uh, just as AC monitoring, and start throwing on other services. If the sensors are present, you can actually change it and redefine it and not ever have to touch it. We are presenting an extremely cost-effective system. Um, it is approximately $7 at the 1,000 parts point for our system compared to the Home Seer and Cestron systems, which are selling retail for $40 to $60 for the most basic models. So if you were to mark up our, our current system, you'd be looking at approximately 700% average markup. And it's hyper-extensible. It can be used on the single node level to the hundreds of thousands of nodes level. And it provides immediate environmental results, which is something that we really, really want to stress. It is not a system that needs to have a large user base. It's not a system that needs to be well-established or even known about uh, by a large group of people. It just needs to be uh, installed and taught rules on how to be used, how to respond to different sensors, and uh, it'll start saving energy and it'll start uh, reducing pollution immediately. That's it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.